Hey y'all, this is Adam here. I uh, just want to make a quick video real quick. Uh, I'll have everything out while I'm busy cleaning cages. Uh, this video is going to be about temperature. It's the most missed question on my application process. Um, people normally say 70 to 72. That is way too cold for a hedgehog. Um, it needs to be around 75 or 80. Um, and there's a couple ways you can do that, and it's not hard at all, and you can still keep the rest of your house cool, uh, if you like it. Um, normally most of my cages are something like this, a plastic container, has got a hole cut out for a drill, um, or you can have a regular wire cage too, I don't suggest that because the arms can get caught on the bars. Um, a good way is to monitor the temperature, just, a lot of people ask, well, how do I make sure I got the right temperature? Well, here, this cage has got a good thermometer on it. That's good, but you only know what the temperature is right where that thermometer is at. I like to use something from ZooMed. Um, it's an infrared thermometer. Uh, wherever I point it to, tells me where the temperature is at. So you can go point at the hedgehog while it's sleeping. You can go to one end of that point of sleeping. And then if you hold the button down, it'll tell you the ambient temperature in the room. It's about $20, $25 at your local pet store. Sheep, I use it for the key to make sure my freezer is cold. I use it for my snakes. As you can see, I've got a green tree python. I can point it there. I've got other snakes here. Um, so that's a good way to keep your, you know, your temperature. Or you could have like two of these. One where you kind of where the hedgehog sleeps and the one where it lays. Same kind of setup if you had any reptiles or whatnot. Um, good way to warm it up is there's pads, local pads. You can get this um, at your local grocery store. Um, I prefer, you know, if these heat pads, I'm not sure what their temperature ratings are um, because it just has a certain on and off switch. So you can't really manage if it gets too hot or too cold. Um, there are devices at the pet store that you can kind of have the temperature on and off a certain time, a, a timer. Um, I would prefer one that has like a, um, a dimmer or has an adjustable switch so you can kind of get the temperature right. But if you can't find something like that, what you can do is you can just wrap it up in a towel. Um, I would suggest putting it underneath the tank so the hedgehog doesn't um, make a mess on it. On the other kind too, from Zoom in, is basically a reptile heat pad. It's got a sticky on the back of it, so you could stick it. But again, I suggest wrapping a towel because a lot of these are known to get really extreme ends of temperature. There is no on and off switch. You just plug it or plug it in. Um, and like I said, you need to monitor the temperature on that, wrap towel around it. But it's also a good thing here. What I personally use is one of these bad boys right here. Um, this is a digital uh, heater thermostat. It's in my room, uh, my hedgehog room. I close off the air vents um, and close the room off. And it keeps the temperature at a consistent degree. As you can see, I can push the button here. And I have the one set at 75. If it's colder outside, I can put it at 80. And I can also, on the bottom here, I can actually set a timer how many hours I want it on. Um, so I can have a little bit more control that way and I can warm a whole entire hedgehog room with that. The other option you can also use is a lamp. A heat emitter lamp. Now this one, um, I don't have a clamp, but some of them you can get clamps for them. And you can actually just clamp them on the side of your cage if you don't need like the lid on or anything like that. Um, and the good thing about this, you can kind of control the temperature because depending on the wattage bulb that you use, determines the distance and temperature um, up or down. So you have to kind of research the height of where you want to clamp it to how many feet down it is. Um, I would try to use something low, like a 60 range and go from there. Um, and like I said, keep the receipt because it may get too hot. You might want to see you can go for a lower density bulb, um, or you can get a bracket, um, they make these lamp brackets. Um, I use it for some of my arboreal cages like that. Um, this one is actually the, the fixture as a key bulb in it. But like that, there's a bracket that can actually reach the length of that cage. Um, and you can actually just, it will suspend. It will connect and suspend like that. So you can kind of adjust the height up and down to where you want it. If your bulb's a little bit too hot. Uh, so there's a couple different ways you can heat it. Um, that's really the biggest, you know, the biggest thing that people miss is, you know, they're thinking room temperature and it needs to be a lot hotter than room, just room temperature. Um, you can use them, the, uh, you know, a, 
a warm spot in your house. It's not hard. You're not going to ring up your electric bill. There's a couple different options there um, to give you, and you can keep the rest of your house warm. Um, usually where they sleep is where they want the warmest, um, but you got to give them enough space um, to kind of move out of that to the best spots where they sleep. So, I mean, you don't want to have... 120 watt bulb of this and that cage the cage hog is gonna fry um, I mean, I've got bearded dragons that need to be a hundred degrees. So um, If you have any questions or comments um, or any other videos you'd like to suggest uh, Definitely uh, send me a message on Facebook or you could text or call me at 850-292-6826 And my website is hedgehogsbyadam.com. Have a good day